My name is Anne F. C. Smith and I'm a multimedia artist really interested in folk culture and history. Um, so the Imago project was a really great opportunity for me to explore one a particular area of my interest which was Boxing Day in Wigan which is a really interesting folk culture event that I've always wanted to look into and also it's really good for me because I got to do workshops and work with the public in a multi multifaceted way that I haven't had the opportunity to do before. I think what sets me apart as an artist, which isn't necessarily fair because of the rights do do this, but I'm very research orientated so I use a lot of um, historical data and um, public engagement to develop a project and then I'll use that input to deliver, to kind of like formulate what the outcome is going to be. So like my work is multimedia because depending on what my research has led me towards it will kind of it will create the sort of form what the outcome is going to be. So um, being history led and folk, contemporary folk led to the speed people. Um, sort of like it's, I'm not preset in what I'm going to be making ever, so I always do like the research. Um, so for me, like Boxing Day is a really great one. It's a really modern um, folk phenomenon that's organically, it's organically grown within like living memory, which um, is really rare for a lot of folk customs because they're often, even though a lot of folk customs are actually from the 70s because they got re reintroduced in the 70s. Um, they're kind of based on older texts or whatever, whereas Boxing Day just came from nowhere in the 1970s. And it's really unique to Wigan, which is obviously my hometown, which is like another reason why it's really fascinating to look into something that's organically grown from your own hometown. But it mirrors a lot of more ancient forms of like Christmas celebration and masking celebrations. So it's come from nowhere, but almost by chance mimics that so does it kind of like represent something that's innate to yeah. the humanity or does it just it shows something that's innate to like Wigan itself's own creativity.